Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I received a new 1-6 scale Michael Myers knife here, the 78 Lamson knife. And this one is by Distress Labs. Um, and here is the card. It's really nicely done. Very cool. But it's Chris Yeast. He got in touch and said he'd been watching the channel for quite some time and he'll have it playing in the background when he's doing his work on his knives. And he knew how much of a Myers fan I am. So he said he'd have... Um, maybe a spare knife floating around from his latest batch and uh, would I be interested in having one just for the collection he made it very clear he was not after a video he just was a fan of the channel and said uh, he'd like me to have one of his knives so I said to him you know if you don't mind give me something to do <laughs> during all the quarantine stuff I wouldn't mind doing a video on it uh, put it on the channel and get it sort of catalogued with all the other custom Myers stuff that I have on here um, and he asked me if I wanted the kind of uh, the shiny version or the more dull version I went with the shiny option I've reviewed a bunch of knives on the channel now, a lot of Fergo stuff, a Shadow Fergo, and recently Tanila's Customs version of the uh, 1978 knife, and they did an amazing job with theirs. And so here we have one by Distress Labs. And this was always the name that was in the back of my mind when I was doing previous videos, and I was trying to mention everyone uh, that has, you know had done work that I'd seen that was really impressive. And this was always the one that was in the back of my mind that I could never remember, was it Distress Labs or something else? So now, officially on the channel, it is indeed Distress Labs. Um, so you can see Facebook. Let me just zoom in on the goods here. And you can get a look at the contact details. You can pause that. That's how you get in touch with Chris. But here is a cool little card that comes with the knife. And it's got the date or the year and a little signature. So it's nice quality. Like the kind of VHS. It's like 3D or something, it's like 3D kind of VHS kind of feel. It's really cool. I do like his card though. Patrick Bateman would, would love this. Really nice quality. Oh, hello. What's going on on the back? Thank you for your support. Instagram.com slash distress labs uh, or underscore labs. Yeah, you can see that in action right there. Check them out. Thank you very much, Chris, for thinking of me, man. It's uh, very nice of you, sir. All right, let's put this in a figure's hand, see how it looks. Very nice though. Great work on the handle, great work on the hand guard here. Look at that, clean, straight, sharp. Very, very nice. It's got a nice weight to it too. So it's just a matter of choosing which Myers is gonna be rocking it. I think we'll go with the Perfect 78 this time. It's a thing of beauty right there. That's the perfect 78 one six scale Michael Myers custom figure. Beautiful, beautiful piece. And that is the Distress Labs knife in his hand. Nice big intimidating blade on that thing. Looks really, really cool. And he's holding onto it well. So the handle fits into whatever hand it is I happen to be using there. I've got a bunch of different hands for holding onto the knives. You know, most Hot Toys figures, you know, when it's just a regular old human hand, they'll come with a hand that's pretty much good for holding a knife. Most of them will. So I've managed to build up quite a few knife holding hands. You don't get so many of the ones where he's got his thumb out like that. I've got a couple of those where the thumb is resting on the handle where he's holding the knife out straight. That's a good one. Got a couple of those, but most of them are just straight up grip hands like that. It looks sweet. I'll just get a close up for you. And it is quite a sharp blade, this one. And Chris did mention you could make it sharper. He didn't go too far with the sharpness. He said you're free to sharpen it if you want to, but he said it's already quite stabby. Uh, not his words, fine. But it's, yeah. It's a beastly knife, it's big. Big. You see, some of the other versions that I have uh, are smaller than this one. I mean, the handle's the same size, but the actual blade is uh, not quite as big as this one. But I do like that about this, because when he's got Bob by the throat, that classic scene, um, when he does hold up the knife, it does look huge, like big. So... I like having a nice big one. Um, I could 
could come out wrong. Uh, let me just get him holding this up. Alright, so I was just trying to get him to do that kind of holding the, uh, the knife up just as he's about to pin Bob to the wall or the door, whatever it is that's behind him. Okay. the way it's looking in this simple pose with the slight head tilt all the little flicks of hair and horns are sticking out to the side it's got hold of that big ass lamps and knife and that's the old baked metallic pumpkin there quite hard to get those now apparently and the base was just a dx11 joker hot toys base that just crudely made into a halloween one looks pretty good though with the yunsil coveralls dyed blue but it's not too intense with the blue on these. It's more of a, a hint of blue to the grey that they already were. You got that mad bug V2 head sculpt. With the hair and the paint by Silent Surfer. Bruce Banner body. Yeah, it's a sick piece. Looks real good there. I'm just going to go ahead and let you soak that up. Give you a few angles. Yeah. Oy. It was all worth it. To have this in front of me right now it was all worth it. All right, folks, well, I won't keep you too long say a massive thank you to Distressed Labs, Chris Yeast, for being super cool and sending one of his awesome knives my way. Uh, Review-wise, give it a 10 out of 10. No reason not to. Great handle, great handguard, great blade, nice and sharp. Uh, it's it's what you're looking for. I mean, you've got lots to choose from. you got Distressed Labs, Danila's Customs, Shadow Fergo. There's a whole bunch of them out there. Uh, maybe one day I'll do a big comparison between all the knives from all the different artists. I don't know. Would have done that in this review, but I don't want to keep you too long. And uh, yeah, we'll see about getting you a knife comparison video because that sure will be interesting because I got a bunch. I got a bunch, so I can bring you some uh, some comparison goodness. Interesting to see the different sizes of the blade and the handles and all that stuff. All right. So again, massive thank you to Distress Labs. Check them out and drop a like on the video guys make sure you subscribe hit the bell icon so you get notifications every time i drop a video on that ass got a 1978 life-size michael myers mask coming in the post probably tomorrow maybe the day after but uh, it's the well not the one that's uh, used to be on him but the 2018 mask will be coming off and then the new 78 will be going back on the full life-size myers over there so it could be tomorrow, it might be the day after, but it's going to be hopefully the only 78 mask I'll ever need. Uh, amazing work, I'm sure, by Simon Brandolino as usual. Can't wait to see it, really excited. All right, check me out on Instagram and Facebook at dnight free, free, free. See you real soon, take it easy. Bye-bye. Thanks again, Chris. Badass knife. <laughs>